I started as a surveyor in high school, um, and I also got a pilot's license in high school as well. Uh, and I continued that through mechanical engineering, um, both surveying and flying. Um, and afterwards, I worked with a software development company. I started in 2013, so two years now. I usually refer to it as a drone. Most people know it as that. The official Canadian term is actually UAS, Unmanned Aerial System. We use it mostly for remote sensing and aerial data collection. So we're doing things like surveying from the air, mapping, um, and doing inspections. That's actually a big part of bringing in this newest drone. Um, I believe the top speed is 120 kilometers an hour, but you can limit that, which we do. <laughs> um, for show purposes, it's fun, but really on, when you're on a job site, safety is more important, so we do put a limiter on it. Um, and as far as battery life, really depends on the wind conditions and your payload, but usually around half an hour. The thing with, with UAVs that people don't really see is the part after you've flown it. <laughs> the sexy part is the drone <laughs> and the flying part, but really the actual intelligence comes in after you've actually gotten off the field and you have all this data, you have all this video or all these photos, what are you going to do with them? Um, and so that's kind of where we actually put a lot more emphasis is, is in the data processing and turning it into information that a client can use rather than giving them something they don't understand. So I think that's part of, you know, you say they only know it from the movies or from spies but drones can do a lot more. If you're doing an inspection, yeah, you definitely want that live feedback. You want to see what it is real time, be able to say there's the problem, um, and then is when you send someone up to fix it, right? Eventually, hopefully, we'll get to the drones that can fix it for you, but not quite there yet.